Right. I need to convince Mr. Bryden to let me excavate Hobbs Barrow and find out where this journal came from. Curses! I forgot I had this worm in my pocket. Poor thing is dead now. Rest in peace, Kenneth. Good day. I'm still setting up the stall. Come back later. Oh, I'm sorry. Good morning, Father Roach. Ah, Miss Bateman. What a pleasure to see you again. Have you tracked down Mr. Shoulder yet? Don't get me started. I'll take that as a no. Indeed. Do you recognize this journal? Hmm, what a tatty old thing. You ought to take better care of your possessions, Miss Bateman. It's not mine. Then whose is it? That's precisely what I'm trying to find out. I'm afraid I can't help you. I haven't seen it before. What do you make of this stone? Hmm, I don't recognize the symbol from any Christian iconography. Did you make it yourself? No, never mind. What brings you to the square today? I'm meeting a couple of young congregation members to go over some scripture. You're welcome to join us. Thank you, Father Roach, but I have quite a busy day ahead of me. We will be at St. Edmund's, should you wish to join us later. What do you know of Lord Panswick? Oh, yes. A rather important fellow around here. His vast land holdings give many a steady employment. I hear he is renovating an old chapel on his land. Aye, I've heard such reports. He believes this to be a godless land. Something I wholeheartedly disagree with. To which god his chapel will be dedicated to remains a matter of concern. Why do you say that? Oh, my apologies. Don't listen to my oafish conjecture. Let us move on. Thanks for your time. Lord be with you. Thomasina! Good morning, Arthur. You look a bit addled. Are you feeling all right? I am not used to drinking as much as we did. Aye, my head is pounding. To tell you the truth, Arthur, I've had a somewhat puzzling morning. Oh? Someone slipped this journal under the door of my room. Whose journal is it? I have no idea. The text refers to some sort of excavation. Well, Stanley must be playing tricks on you. He swore his innocence. I thought perhaps you might have done it? No, it wasn't me. That's for certain. Somehow I have a clear memory of last night. I wonder who left me this journal then? Mind if I take a closer look? Please, go ahead. writings of a madman. I don't disagree. Do the sketches mean anything to you? No, not at all. But they turn me stomach. You might want to show this to Mother Mildred. Who is Mother Mildred? Some think her a witch. A witch? Aye. She might be able to help you with the symbols. Where can I find her? She lives alone in a little cottage within Hearn Wood here. You shouldn't have too much trouble finding her. Thanks, Arthur. You're welcome. What do you make of this stone? It's a good shape for skimming across water. What is it? I'm not sure. It was strapped to the cover of the journal. How mysterious. I had a splendid time last night. Aye. I even remember most of it this time. Thanks for listening to me going on. I really appreciate it. The feeling is mutual. Thank you too, Arthur. Shouldn't you be manning the station? The line is down. Track damage between Bewley and Bakewell. No trains for a day or more. Does that mean I'm stranded here? For the time being, Thomasina. Capital. Why do people think Mother Mildred is a witch? Just because a woman lives alone in the woods doesn't mean she flies about on a broomstick. 
There's more to it than that. They say she lays with demons. Who are they? Oh, you know, local folk. Hogwash. Some also go to her for potions and spells. Spells? Come now, Arthur. Truth be told, she's a nice old lady. I sometimes see her foraging in the brambles around here. Will she burn at the stake sometime soon? You might think us backward in Beulet, Thomasina, but we're not that backward. Sorry, Arthur. I only meant to tease. Goodbye. Tara. Thomasina, dear, come say goodbye to your father. Come on now, don't make him wait. I don't want to. Aren't you going to miss me? I hate you, Daddy. Those are strong words for such a little lady. I want to come with you. We've been through this, little bird. You can't come with me this time. But we'll go to Seabra next month. I promise. Oh, what a dig that shall be. I hate you. Well, I love you. See you soon, little bird. Hmm. <laughs> The resin has set somewhat. It's firmly gripped to the stump. I've collected some waxy resin. I've collected this lump of wax. Please, forgive my intrusion. Are you Mother Mildred? Some call me that. I prefer Mildred Walker, given as that's my name. Apologies. Thomasina Bateman. I think we met at Bewley Station. I take it Panswick's men have cleared off. Good riddance. Those ruffians would cut their own noses off if he asked them to. I recognised you the moment I laid eyes on you at the station. I beg your pardon? Oh, yeah, it's quite a striking family resemblance. You have your father's eyes, Miss Bateman. You knew my father? Such piercing blue eyes he had. What a handsome young man. William. He was here, in Bewley. Oh, yes. A long time ago, mind. Twenty-five years by my reckoning. But I'll never forget those eyes. Why was my father in Bewley? He were helping Samuel Bride and excavate Hobbs Barrow. You must be jesting. Do I look like I'm jesting? How did you come to meet my father? One might say I have a reputation in these parts. Folks from all around come to me for help with their ailments. Fernwood is abundant with flora that, if mixed correctly, will cure almost any ill. Your father must have caught wind of this, as one day he came to me, asking for a cure. A cure for what? Your mother was with child, and she was suffering the most terrible nausea. Adam. I made something to help her. The journal. This was entered in the journal. It belongs to my father. What journal? Take a look at this. A passage recalls meeting a local wise woman to seek a tincture for his beloved's nausea gravidarum. Aye, that's me. I made the tincture for him. This... this is incredible. You don't recognise your own father's handwriting. It's been so many years since I've seen it. What do you make of this stone? I-A-W. I haven't a clue. 
Perhaps it's an old folk trinket or a talisman of some kind. The moors are steeped in folklore. What can you tell me about the excavation? Well, not much. I only met your father twice. The last time he asked me if I knew anything about binding magic. Binding magic? He said he needed it for the excavation. Hogwash. My father is a man of logic and reason. Why would he be asking about such nonsense? Perhaps you don't know him as well as you think you do. Anyway, I know nothing of magic and told him so. He seemed disappointed. I never saw him again, but I understand the excavation went ahead. Samuel bride and hanged himself not long after. Reason enough for you to stay well clear of that place. You never saw my father again after the excavation? No. I always assumed he just went home. Hmm. Who excavated Hobbs Barrow alongside Samuel Bryden and my father? From memory, it were just the two of them. What do you think my father meant by binding magic? I've no idea. He didn't explain more and I didn't wish to pry. Hmm. This just doesn't sound like my father at all. You'll have to ask him yourself. I'm afraid my father has been incapacitated since I was a child. He cannot speak nor move. Terrible. Oh, I I'm sorry. You said that the flora here could cure almost any ill. Almost, my dear. But your father's affliction sounds beyond my abilities. The landlord of the Plough and Furrow told me about a folk tale associated with Hobbs Barrow. Something about a goblet. Are you familiar with it? No doubt there is such a tale. Name any beastie you can think of and someone round here will have a story about it. My thoughts precisely. Charles Bryden mentioned there was a third man involved in the excavation. Is that so? Well, you best ask him about it. He knows more than I do. Can you tell me anything about Leonard's shoulder? I know of him, as is the nature of such a small town. I also know he invited you here. Little escapes you, Miss Walker. So they say. My path rarely crosses with his. Let's put it that way. But he's a nice enough fellow. I see. Do you know Lord Panswick? I know his labourers make a mess of these woods, the brutes. The man himself hasn't graced me with his presence. You've never met him? Not since he were a wee lad. A maid brought him to me with a sore stomach. It were all the rich food they were feeding him. Now more. Thank you for your help, Miss Walker. What are those berries you're picking? An ancient breed. No good for eating. However, they do have some medicinal qualities. I see. What are those berries? An ancient... However... I see. I shouldn't enter uninvited. Miss Bateman? Yes? Remember what I told you when we first met. You're better off waiting for the next train back to the city. Why? Something terrible happened to Samuel Bryden in that barra. Whatever they found down there, I'd wager it got to your father too. Tell me you won't disturb Hobbs Barra. I can't make that promise, Mildred. Can't say I didn't warn you. There is something unnatural about that place. We must seek to understand the world by rational means, Miss Walker. One cannot abandon reason. Thomasina? Thomasina, come here this instant. I'm playing with Josephine. She can wait. This is very important. Hmm. What is it, Mummy? It's... it's your father. Daddy's home? No, my dear. I must go to Bakewell with haste. Miss Bowes will look after you whilst I'm gone, is that clear? Where's Daddy? He's had... an accident. What happened? He's come off his horse. Silly Daddy. Will he be all right? Of course. Of course he will be fine. Your father is as strong as an ox. But I need to go collect him, all right? Can't I come too? No, dear. Miss Bowes will look after you. But I want to come. Go pick up your dolls, then come inside, all right? Yes, Mummy.
Josephine, it's time to go inside now. Where did Mummy go? I shan't be visiting the badges again. I was lucky to escape intact. I helped him then, and I can help him again. Arthur! You won't believe it. The journal belongs to my father. He was here in Bewley. Arthur? Hello? Oh, sorry. I'm trying to remember something. What is it? I'm not sure. Something in the woods. It will come back to me. You say your father were in Bewley? Yes. Mildred said that he helped Samuel Bryden excavate Hobbs Barrow 25 years ago. Well, I'll be. Let's talk about it tonight at the plough. Arthur, I must tell you about the dream I had. I was at Hobbs Barrow and there was a creature. It told me it saved my father from something inside and that I would find proof of this in the morning. Sure enough, when I awoke, the journal was in my room. Mildred confirmed the journal belonged to my father. The creature told me it could help my father again. I mean, it was merely a dream. I don't know what to think anymore. Arthur? Arthur, are you listening? Fine then, we'll talk later. I hope you piece together your memories. Good day. Hey up. Look at this, Mr. Crozier. It's my father's journal. Oh, I? Why are you showing me? Did you slip it under my door last night? Ha! Have you gone daft? Why would I have your father's journal? Never mind. Do the sketches inside mean anything to you? Looks like a load of rubbish to me. I found out my father visited Bewley 25 years ago. William Bateman, perhaps you remember him? I would have been just a lad. What were he here for? That's what I intend to find out. What do you make of this stone? Don't look like out to me. Are you familiar with any local folklore? Oh, why? The old cobbler used to tell me some right stories. Swore he sold a pair of boots to a goblin when he were a young man. A goblin, you say? I take it this cobbler was a regular at the Plough and Furrow? Never drank a day in his life. Sober as a judge. Have you been to the Devil's Toe? Yes, I'm familiar with the cairn. Some say they've seen the goblin's daughter there, playing her fiddle. Can't say I've seen her myself, mind. Do you know any other stories about this goblin? I don't have the time to be standing here gossiping about old wives' tales. Apologies. I'm having some trouble extricating a knife from a table in the plough and furrow. Might I borrow a pair of pliers? A knife, you say? I can get that out for you. That's very kind of you, Mr. Crozier. Think nothing of it. Wait here. That were a struggle. Here you are. Thank you so much. Thanks for your time. Hi. Speak to you later. Hey, boy.
Hello, dear. Good day. Sydney, must you be so unruly? Run along home now, won't you? I believe we've met. Miss Thomasina Bateman, the famous antiquarian. My reputation precedes me. I can assure you it does. And you are? James. Are you a painter? You see this beck before you. Look at the water. See how it tumbles and falls. I seek one spot on which my eyes can rest. Be it a stone or a small corner of the current, I meet it with my gaze. And out of the tumbling and falling, a new land rises. I see a new world. You certainly have the eloquence of an artist. What are you painting? A new world. Quite the ambition. Indeed. My ambition knows no bounds. Can I see it? Not yet. It's not finished. And such a world is not complete without you in it. You've flattered me, James. Nonsense. Say you'll let me paint you. Why not? Magnificent. You shall be the shining star of my new world. I don't really have the time now, though. Perhaps later? Don't fret, my dear. When the time comes, I shall call on thee. Capital. What do you make of this stone? It looks antique. You might want to keep a hold of it. Do you know of Hobbs Barrow? I'd like to know more about you, Thomasina. What time do you like to rise in the morning? How do you like your tea? What makes you happy? Well, I like to rise early and watch the sunrise. With your husband, I'm sure. No, I'm currently unentangled. Such a view should be shared with at least a lover. Do you deem yourself fit for this position? Indubitably. But do go on. How do you like your tea? Hot, with just a splash of milk. No sugar, of course. No sugar. It rots the teeth. Your smile is as dazzling as the Himalayan snow. Oh, James. And finally, what makes you happy? Spending time with my father. I should like to meet him. Perhaps you will. And you, James? I propose the same queries to you. All in good time. My truths will surround you in good time. Do you know Leonard's shoulder? A man of Bewley? Yes. I care not for the men of Bewley. Only for the visitors. Was that your dog? Yes. His name is Sidney. Quite the excitable pup. Don't mind his bark. The little fellow wouldn't hurt a fly. What do you know of Lord Panswick? A fine gentleman. Now that is someone who commands respect. Do you know him personally? No, I... I don't think anyone can really claim that. But what a tiring subject. Shall we discuss something a little more... exciting? Goodbye. See you soon, my dear.